Uh, yes, please. Uh, a very good afternoon. This is Abhin over here with another video, uh, and uh, this time the topic is access control list. I'll start first with uh, standard access control list, and then in the later videos we'll discuss about um, extended access control list, reflexive access control list, and also context-based access control. So I believe I always believe this that spreading knowledge is equivalent to spreading happiness. So without any further ado, I'll just start with the configuration of the access control list that is standard access control list and um, how it is done about. So I'll just explain you this diagram. I have two routers over here, R1 and R2, and um, R1 interface fast 0 1 a uh, fast uh, f that is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the ip address is 10.0.0.1 <coughs> r2 opposite ends of the router always belong to a same network always remember this so this is 10.0.0.1 and r2 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is 10.0.0.0.2 then in my r1 i have a loop back network the name I have given the loopback network as R1 and uh, it is 1.1.1.1 slash 24 and over here my lover is there and uh, um, in the lower loopback uh, network is 2 slash 24 that is 2.0.0.0 so what my aim in this access control or what access control list does is that it can control who is accessing or it can control who is allowed to access the network or who has the, who does not have permission to access the network so what I'm going to do in this what I'm going to do in this uh, practical of access standard access control is that I want I don't want this Arun to interact with my lover Okay, so this time we are we are playing the role of a villain, and I don't want Arun to interact with the lover. And how this is done via access control list? We'll just uh, we'll just uh, I'll just show you this. Before that, we'll just do the configuration part. So this is my router on a very interface for setting a zero to zero. IP address is equal to <coughs> then I do one more shot over here and I just configure RIP RIP. You can do anything, you can configure it PIGRP, OSPF, or you can even configure um, BGP between these two, or even you can just put a static router or default. But I for simplicity, I'm doing uh, RIP. So router is RIP and network is 10.0.0.0 and network just focus this is all simple configuration just focus on access control ok so I have done this ok that is I have first um, show IP interface to you so I have the first ethernet 0 slash 0 has been given an IP address 10.0.0.1 and it is up then loop back which is our network and it is given with an IP address 1.1 slash 24 and I have configured the RIP that is routing information protocol in this and I have uh, announced or I have just advertised my network that is the first network is 10.0.0.0 and my loopback network that is 1.1.1.0 very simple we will do the same you know configuration on R2 also Interface configuration 
on the network Take the this is zero and again I do two dot two dot two dot zero. Now I just try to see that if I can ping or if my lover can reach me. So my lover is two dot two dot ping. I do just ping to my IP address. Ping is happening at the dollar issue. Okay. Ping I can do with the source with the local lower also. This is also happening. So my lover and Arun. Arun and his lover are able to contact or able to communicate and send the terms. Okay. But now what I want to do is via access control list is that I don't want Arun to communicate because you can imagine this as a room being a network over here locally network, and the lower over here being a server so I don't want people from the local area network to interact with the server so for that we have access control list and inside access control list there are three types of access control the first one is the standard one which is very simple which differentiates or which takes action only based on the source port IP address source uh, IP address or the destination IP address then we have extended access control list and the reflexive access, named access control list that we will just look into in our future videos over here I hope this is understood till now I have R1 and R2 two routers and two loop back addresses Arun and his lover in R1 I have uh, now configured the routing information with protocol R2 also have configured the protocol and these both are able to now communicate but my problem is that I don't want Arun uh, I don't want or I, I will not permit Arun to communicate with his lover how this is done via standard access control is just like to see it. over here I can just configure it and I will put as access list so the first command is access list ok that is I am configuring access list inside this if you just do a question mark then you can see that 1 to 199 is standard access list 100 to 199 is IP extended access list then we have IPX access list we have Apple talk access list and we have different access list so we are working on IP so access list there. then again I do comma what it is saying is that the permitting you are denied ok what you are doing so I want is that I want to permit this ok 0 ok 0 no 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 dot 3 so I want to permit ok so when I write over here this what it is trying to say is that anyone who is coming from the network please permit it to access my server ok ok and I have given standard access list and also the second thing that I always remember that there is a deny there is a exclusive deny command over here which is invisible so what it is saying is that only permit those from 10.0.0.0 network and rest all deny so remember now our own network is 1 so it is it is but obviously that it will deny the our own network okay the next thing after this you have to do is go into the interface mode so I go into my fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so what I have done over here is via the access list command I am saying that and who has 10 network or any machine which has 10 IP address that is 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 2 3 4 can come and can communicate with the server rest all are denied ok and where it is saying that I will configure my access list it is saying that I will configure it in my fast ethernet 0 plus 0 port so now I'll just do it, I'll just uh, do it in my first internet. So what I'll do is IP access group the access list number which I created was 10 and so inbound packets. Inbound packets means the packets which are coming in the code is getting inside. So inbound packets 
please upload this access control to your status if anyone is coming from then you work with them in when the pit loads are good please allow it the rest of all you can basically deny or explicitly deny them okay. Okay, so this has been done. So now I will do the thing from then. Ping is done. How ping is done? Because now in my scenario, the ping is happening from 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.0.2. Now I will do is what I will try to ping 10.0.0.0 or I will try to ping in my lawyer. So loopback one. So my loopback one is this. So what I'm trying to tell is that try to ping my lower with my with this. Okay, and just check if this is possible or not. It should be possible. Ping. I'm, I'm sorry, so I have to do this from R1. So I'll just do this thing. Thank God you are able to do it. The thing is done. Now thing. 2.2.2.2. Source. Go back. Ah. So my access control is you are getting something which is called as U. And U is nothing but it is an ICMP unreachable message so why are this ping is happening this ping is a tool which uses icmp reply and icmp request two packets that is if i am pinging to another machine i am sending an icmp request to that machine and that machine should reply within a certain amount of time U is ICMP unreachable so what it is trying to say is that if i am trying to ping my lover Via my network 1.24, I am not able to reach over that. So that is the first scenario and the second scenario. Just if you want to see the access list, you can just access list over. So the, I have just enabled standard IP access list 10, which is saying that permit 10.10.10.0. .10 .10 .10 slash 24 this is my card opposite so slash 24 my card which always becomes slash 8 okay so this is how access list i hope you enjoy this video again the motto is spreading knowledge is equal to spreading happiness i hope this is understood i hope that this is understood to all of you we have created an access control list and the access control list is a standard access control list the aim is that Arun should not talk to this lover so what I have done is I have taken two routers in these two routers I have turned out the logo to the zero network which dot one over here and dot two over here okay then I have, and I have also created a loopback address one slash 24 and a loopback address on r2 two slash 24 and in this I can I have enabled the lift protocol. You can also enable EIGRP protocol, USPF protocol, BGP also, or simply you can enable a static route also. Okay. Then what I want to do is when I do this, the connectivity between Aruna and his lover is there. So we have not yet enabled access control list. So to enable access control list, then I don't want Arun to talk to his lover based on the source IP address. Extend, uh, standard access control list works. I hope you enjoy this video.